gospel mercies. You don't take the Bible literally? Uh, we take parts of it. We don't see it as everything being just a literal, a literal word of God. The experience of God has changed with technology. What? I'm sorry, say that one more time. The experience of how we interact with God has changed with technology. It's also exchanged, it's also changed how we interact with one another. I just was asking, like, 1 Corinthians 6, 9. Romans 1, 27. The book of Timothy. Leviticus 18, 22. It clearly homosexuality. And right here, he's saying that it doesn't. Well, what I have learned that might not uh, be correct. So the Bible is not correct. I think the way that it has been translated. For the time will come when they will not endure sound well, doctrine. It was translated from a totally different language mm -hmm. than the one you're reading it in. Well, and I mean, there's so there, there's different translations, those, no, yes, but all but of them either say homosexuality. Wanting to have their ears tickled. Uh -huh. And if you go back into those mm -hmm. two languages, they will accumulate for themselves for the teachers in accordance to their own design. So are you saying that the Bible is inaccurate? Yes. Well, there is no word in Hebrew or Greek <laughs> in the Bible for homosexuality. <laughs> it doesn't exist. You're nowhere. telling me homosexuality never agree? didn't exist? Be diligent to present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed, accurately handling the word of truth. You're saying the Bible says homosexuality is bad. The Bible never speaks about homosexuality. It's in the Bible. Go open your Bible. It says it. Find me the word homosexuality. Yeah, we can condemn you. Out the door. Condemn me? Out the door. Out the door. Condemn me. Ser homosexual no es un delito. Es una condición humana. 